A guide to extending your tier one entrepreneur visa. What is the tier one visa extension application process? You can apply for a visa extension from within the UK by completing an online form. Your documentation will be uploaded as part of your application with UK VCAS and all original documents are no longer required to be submitted to the Home Office. As part of your visa renewal, you will need to book an appointment at your nearest UK VCAS service point to provide your biometrics information. You may be asked to attend an interview while the UK VI assess your case. You will not be allowed to travel abroad whilst your application remains pending. If you leave the UK, even temporarily, your visa application may be treated as withdrawn. What are the main requirements if I want to extend my entrepreneur visa? Click on the description below for a more detailed breakdown of some of the extension requirements that we've covered in other videos. In summary, you will need to provide the following evidence to show that you meet the requirements to extend your visa. That you have invested the required funds of usually £200,000, have become a director or self-employed within six months of your visa being issued or within six months of entering the UK, whichever of the two is later have created at least two UK jobs for settled workers, have operated a genuine business and are therefore a genuine entrepreneur, you have no criminal convictions and are not prohibited from acting as a company director. How long does it take to renew an entrepreneur visa? You should receive a decision on your application in approximately eight weeks. The Home Office may issue a letter to confirm that they may require additional time. This would usually mean that your decision should be received in no more than six months from the point that you submitted your application. It is usually cases that bring about complications that are decided beyond the standard eight week processing times. You may be contacted by the Home Office if further documentation is required to evaluate your case. Unfortunately, if the Home Office do require additional documents, this may cause an additional delay. In consideration of this fact, it is vital that you submit your application in time and before your current visa expires. Can I stay in the UK if the Home Office do not decide my application before my visa expiry date? In accordance with Section 3C of the Immigration Rules, your Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa is deemed as extended in law until a decision has been made by the Home Office. This only applies if you made your visa application before the expiration of your current stay. If, however, you are not able to submit your visa application before your visa has expired, there is also a 14-day grace period where you can apply up to 14 days after your visa expires. If you submit within the grace period, although Section 3C does not apply, you are still able to remain in the UK whilst you wait for a decision to be made. Can I settle in the UK after my Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa Extension has been granted? You can make an application for indefinite leave to remain, also known as ILR, after five years of continuous and lawful residence. If you employ 10 people or turn over £5 million within the first three years, you can make an application for ILR using the accelerated rules. You can submit your ILR application up to 28 days before you will reach the end of your qualifying period. However, in order to be eligible, you must not have spent more than 180 days outside of the UK for each year of your residence. You must also meet additional requirements as stated by the immigration rules. What happens if my circumstances change? This will depend on what has changed about your circumstances and when they changed. If you lodge your visa application and at the date of submission, you met the requirements, your visa application will be considered in line with the circumstances at the date of submission. However, if you are convicted of a criminal offence, we recommend that you speak to your immigration advisor about the impact this may have on your right to remain in the UK, as this will depend on what the conviction relates to. If you do not intend to operate your business further, we recommend again that you speak to your immigration advisor before making any conclusive decisions. This may result in your visa no longer remaining valid. When you make your next visa application, and if you're unable to prove that you are operating your business in line with the requirements, your visa may be refused and a year ban placed on your return. Can I apply for a Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa from outside of the UK? The Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa category has closed to new applicants. If you currently hold an Entrepreneur Visa, your extension application must be made from inside of the UK. 
If you are stuck abroad and it is outside of your control, we recommend you speak to one of our solicitors about what options you may have. For example, the Home Office have created the Coronavirus Helpline and certain exemptions that allow for out-of-time applications to be submitted, but this was unique to the pandemic. With the Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa category now closed, it is extremely important that you consider all of your circumstances and apply from inside of the UK to avoid disappointment. How can I challenge the refusal of my extension or ILR application as a Tier 1 Entrepreneur Visa holder? There is no longer a full statutory right of appeal against the refusal of any points-based system application. This means that there are limited circumstances where you may be able to attend the tribunal, for example, where elements of the Human Rights Act are raised, which is unfortunately very unlikely with a Tier 1 entrepreneur refusal. You can, however, apply for an administrative review against the Home Office decision to refuse your application. You would do this relying purely on the evidence provided when you'd applied and explaining why there has been a caseworking error on the part of the Home Office. If there has not been an error in the decision, you may have more merits in applying again within 14 days of receiving your refusal. Tactically, to buy further time for your reapplication, you may choose to lodge an admin review so that you have a further 14 days from the date that your AR application is rejected.